games in the Premiership and a massive one at the top of Division 1-2. Fourth place Charlton at home to the leaders Nottingham Forest. Charlton's promotion ambitions face the stiffest possible task. And it wasn't far away from being made that bit more difficult in only the second minute. Chris Bart Williams wasting a golden opportunity. But in what proved to be a positive start to the game, it was Charlton who took a 14th minute lead. The defence unhinged, leaving a simple chance for Mark Bright. But as is so often the case, the equaliser came soon after. Kevin Campbell connecting from close range. Even at that point, but not by the end, as Charlton ran riot. Paul Mortimer with their second on the hour, and there was time for a couple more before the final whistle. Clive Mendonca made the results safe with time running out. And then Mark Kinsella capped a brilliant afternoon for the Addicts, scoring another to keep them in fourth spot. Kevin Campbell, second of the afternoon, no consolation for the league leaders after a comprehensive drubbing. Final score, Charlton 4, Forest 2. Then came the turning point. Last week, a Pierre van Hoydonk special won Forrest the points at Birmingham. This week, his free kick somehow stayed out. Charlton didn't just ride their luck, they exploited it. Clive Mendonca cleverly turned Colin Cooper to win a penalty. Charlton had the chance to double their lead, and Mendonca didn't waste it. That was in the final minute. Yet there was still time for two more goals. The impressive Mark Kinsella, boosted by his Republic of Ireland debut in midweek, is another Charlton player improving by the match. Campbell did make it 4-2, but after this result, the battle for the two automatic promotion places may not be confined to the top three, according to the Charlton boss, Alan Kirbishley. Sunderland. Forest stay top, Sunderland are now second, just a point behind and a point ahead of Middlesbrough, who do have a game in hand. Charlton's win over the leaders makes them near certainties for the playoffs, although Ipswich, Sheffield United, Birmingham and Wolves all won again. The bottom five stay the same, they all lost, just three points separate them. Then come Queen's Park Rangers, now a point behind Norwich and Bury. Tranmere move up three places after their victory at Stoke City.